I'm Gareth Metcalf, author of I See Reasoning Year 5. Let's have a look at the resource and how it can be used to inspire mathematicians in your class. The layout of the ebooks is really user friendly. All you've got to do is have a look in the contents and find the area of the curriculum that you're working on. Then you'll find a range of different challenges for building understanding and addressing misconceptions, spotting patterns and seeing relationships, and then some amazing prompts for explaining, discussing, and going really, really deep in these mathematical ideas. Let's have a look at some of the common question techniques that we'll see in this ebook. There's a big emphasis throughout the ebook on looking at misconceptions, explaining mistakes, or here, correct or incorrect examples. Which of these examples are incorrect, and can children spot those mistakes? Also, to help children to learn written calculation, we break down those procedures into small steps. So, for example, in the division section, looking at just what's the remainder, rather than having to do whole calculations. Or part complete examples, where children already have a part finished scaffold to help them as they acquire this new knowledge. Different ways questions are used to help children to see different calculation strategies and to be flexible in their approach. For small difference questions, which are littered throughout the ebook, children will see relationships between questions and as they find an answer and another, they might have a surprise. How can the answer be the same? Why is that? Or how can I use the question before to help me to answer the next one and the next one? What are those links? There's a huge range of different types of tasks that will get children talking and exploring, like this one from the angle section. We know that angle A is larger than angle D, but how does that help us to order angles B and C? And then there's a wealth of different challenges for extending and taking maths in different directions, like this shape puzzle from the addition and subtraction section. To order the resources, just click on the link here and it'll take you through to a website called Etsy. You can add the item to your basket and then you'll be able to get the digital download. You don't need an Etsy account to be able to place an order. If you've got any questions about ordering resources, then if you go and click on the Frequently Asked Questions page, the most common requests will be answered. Or please feel free to drop me an email at icmaths at hotmail.com. I hope IC Reasoning Year 5 inspires mathematical thinking in your class.